Hey guys, I just got back from the movie Nerve. I thought it was very entertaining. They got the suspense right and they got the thrills right. Overall, it's an enjoyable film. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Go see this film. You can see it alone by yourself or you can see it with the crowd. I, in my opinion, I, I just so, I just see my movie solely. Get more experience by myself. So, here's my thoughts on the movie. Here's my thoughts on the, on the film Nerve. I thought they did a great job with the direction. I thought they, they got the suspense right. They got the thrills like, um, and I thought it's a, I thought it was a good solid adaptation film. I know I haven't seen the book. I know I haven't seen I haven't read the book. I know some people are gonna be saying, "Well, you gotta read the book to understand." Well, lately, you know, in recent in years in recent years, you know, with all these films coming out from adaptation from books, is it necessary to read the book or the comic book or the manga? Or even if, even if it turns into a TV show, I'll get my thoughts about that in a later video that I will do. To, to do anyway, the direction with the suspense and thrills—it's done fantastically. Nerve is done in two ways: watchers and players. Watchers is obviously the watch these people do the dares. However, you can come up with the dare as they're playing. It could be like, okay, go to this location. All right, I'm in cell location. Now steal someone's wallet. Oh, that's simple. Or purse. That, that's simple enough. I'm gonna get. But you don't know. They could be have. They could have a gun. They could have a knife on you, on them. I mean, so you never know. That's simple. Oh, kiss and random stranger. That's a little bit more interesting, but complex. More modern. Okay. That's more. Uh, like, uh, excuse me, waiter. Can I get another map? Can I get a power rate? Can I, Can I get a power rate? Uh, thanks? Wasn't well, expecting a kiss, but again, all this is leading to Moolah to more complex, to slash more fucking insane, where it's like, okay, go drive in traffic, okay, we'll drive in traffic, go 60 miles an hour, uh, okay, that's a little harder now, blindfold, and someone's have to guide you through that. Okay, now we're talking, nope, 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 I'm bailing on, bailing on. And for players, if you're doing, you have to remember, players, you have to do these dares. And the watchers don't have the answer to do these dares. But how much money are you going for? Well, it can range from simple $100 to maybe six figures, even beyond six figures. It's even beyond, so you got that to think about. But if you but if you fail to do it, you're done. If you bail out of it, say like, no, 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 I'm, I'm not doing it, you're done. Absolutely, but again, it's with all these suspense thrills, you actually get to feel like you're shit, Miss Trap. There, Miss, very close, very close. It's all that suspense that gets you. Are they gonna get through this dare? Are they not gonna get through this dare? It's very good. I thought some could be done better. I get that more to complaints later on in this, in this video, but overall, they do a good job. In recent years, what I keep saying for recent years for adaptations, the more that we keep getting. The more it feels like, okay, why are you rushing this adaptation? Can you, can you do it right? Again, this is one of those, in those categories where you say, alright, this is an adaptation that was done right. I thought I was done right. Again, I have a question about the books, but I'm going to briefly sum this up. It gets to the point right away. It's not over long and complicated with this epic drama story like you see in, in Game of Thrones, the Miller Saga, Harry Potter. The Hunger Games, Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, the Shinari Chronicles, and so much more beyond that. Whether it be a Marvel, Marvel and DC, this one gets right to the point. So I thought this was a good adaptation. It gets right to the point. They explain what's going on, and this is how you play Nerve. But then again, again, the end ending is just kind of like, yeah, okay. I'll get to that complaints later on. As for the acting goes, like the of course the Soul Train, the person that leads us is Emma Roberts. Again, she's fantastic. Like, American Horror Story, Scream 4. Like, it. it's just like, it, this is her movie, of course. She's the main star. She gets you the suspense to throw. She starts her character, Venus, starts as we see her. It's a very shy girl. She doesn't know what to do. Does she want to go to college? Does she not want to go to college? And, uh, she kind of hangs out with the same friends that she knows. She knows for her entire life. And then she gets, after saying guy that doesn't like it, since her friend Stacy asked, she kind of gets mad. Yay, cliche. But you got a good reason to start in her. And then she kind of goes to this very exciting person who will do the dares and will get more money for it. So yeah, there's that.
As for everyone else, they're all kind of in the range from mixed to average to maybe, I don't know, like, cliche, your one beat. Actually, that's a good way to sum up. As for these actors and actresses, some of them are good, some of them are just up and coming to rise. Some of these have these familiar faces that you see these a lot. That you might, you know that face, but you can't remember the actor or actresses, so... So again, th that's my opinion about those guys. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Like the mom is concerned, the concerning friends concerning, but they have short scenes, so they're they're fine. They might get a pass. Others not so much. Like you're one B, you're one B, you're one B. The morals are clear for these guys, but it's one B, one B, one B. Others are just okay, I guess. But now my concern, I'm not an actor or actress. But if you see it, but you know, they're not trying to be the A-listers. They're rising, so they still got, some Some of these guys are rising. Others have been here for a long time, so they know what they're doing, so there's that. But now let's get to a little bit of complaints. Again, going to the dares, like, some of these are simple. Like, like this is a dare that, that I watched and told me to do. Go get a tattoo. I can get a tattoo right now if I want to. But they had a little twist, like, oh, no, 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 let, let that person take it for you. Pick out it for you. Okay, but hope you don't get a, get a dick tattoo. <laughs> or a unicorn tattoo, or a frozen tattoo. I'm very mad if I got a fucking frozen tattoo. If a freaking stranger said, like, give me a frozen tattoo. I would punch that person around the fucking face. If they gave me a frozen tattoo. Um, others can be ranging from, very interesting, like, again, you get some interesting ones, like, hanging from a crane, that, that blindfold traffic scene was a little nerve-wracking, to jumping through fucking fire, again, you gotta lay down, let the train go by, you get something interesting, but, again, you start small to, kind of, small to silly, to sell that more interesting later on, but I really wish I got more than interesting. Please, I wanted to see more of these interesting. They felt more suspenseful than what we have for the basics. Like, you do see, like, people in the trailer, you do see M. Roberts and that cliche guy, 197 guy. Just, I really, I just, his name is Ian in the, in the film, but he's really cliche guy, 197, getting out of the store. But that was pretty funny. I thought that was entertaining too, more, you know, again, all the previous stuff, they're more interesting, so I really want to see that. A uh, second complaint would be about uh, the players. I know we're focusing on Venus and her story, but I really wish we got more sense of these guys. Stacy's has like a few dares in this entire movie. Like you see her watch list go up, but that's it. That's it. I really wish I got more time to be with Stacy and let me see more of her dares and what kind of why she stopped at this part. Of, I know she's taking a break, but come on, she could have done. She could have done more than that. And get some of these players there. Like, you see them, but... Again, this montage, but it's not enough time for these guys. Like, again, as they're going to the next scene to do the dare, you'll see these players pop up. There's Venus. There's Ian. There's... Joker. There's... Freddy Krueger 97. There's the Green Bandit guy over there. Like, again, I'm, like, I'm, I'm just naming these names right off the crowd, but... Hey, don't you guys want to see those dares, too? Or maybe just get a little glimpse of what they're doing? They show in the montage of the film, but come on, come on. You really could have done better than that. Uh, but again, you don't focus on the main story, but uh, better. Again, they got the, you got this hack group, like, but they just show up in a few scenes. Oh, we're very, we're very good. Like, you are very good. You, if you get this in the nerve servers, why didn't you shut this down sooner? You know, why didn't you shut this one sooner? Like, I know there must have been a good motive behind it. There's a good motive behind it, what, what they do at the end, but come on. You could have done better with that. Uh, my last complaint would be a little bit of the scripts, but, you know, I'm not going to complain too much. Some of the dialogue is good delivery, otherwise it's just, eh. But anyway, hey, I'm just kidding about the script, really. It's really how you think about the script, really. The script isn't too bad. It's still great adaptation. They still get that these kind of modes right, so that's good for them. Otherwise, from that, my other complaint would be, the last one would be, why do the players have to prove uh, so Like, right now, I, I'm, I'm freaking recording. So they have to record this and sit while they're doing the dare. Why do they got to do it? I mean, if you got a watch right by, 
I know they say that they can record this, but you got the one scene like she has to record it. She has to. Okay, why don't you give that person your phone that's way over there, and and have people say like, okay, don't believe you have to do this dare right now, and they can record like really. Why doesn't like, she have to stand up and walk across? It's like, she's taking too long. Like, dear, like, okay, yes. But you could have done a better job with that. They could have just someone like, okay, there's my phone recorded. I'm recording. Yes, we're recording right now. I think that could have been much better in the film, really. Like, otherwise, it's not too much to complaint about the film. Again, it's an 8 out of 10 to go see it right now. Uh, if you want to wait for it, that's fine, too. I'm sorry about the start, and that's the end for the nerve review. It gets my go see it film. It gets my. I was kind of happy for this film, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad that I saw it. I'm very sorry that I didn't get Star Trek Beyond review, but I'm gonna say this very quickly. It's a good send off to Leonard Nimoy and for Anton. It's very different from the other Star Trek films, even though we still see Star Trek like you see in all the old ones. You know what's gonna happen, but hey. It's more action packed than I think than the last few that we had for Star Trek. Again, they're always pushing different, going to different location uh, areas. This one's more survival. This is year three of the other adventures. So, so they kind of do explain that a little bit in in the opening scene. But otherwise, it's more action sci-fi. And go see it if you still want to see it. You still got time to see it in theaters. Otherwise, you gotta wait for right now on DVD, Blu-ray, and digital release. So there's that. And I will get more review out later for you guys. And that's it. Oh, that's the end for Star Trek Beyond Review. And I will get more review review out for you guys. I will get you know, the very up and coming Suicide Squad film. I am very excited for that. I we, we waited an entire year for that fucking film to be done. Since Comic Con. So I'm very excited. I will get Marvel's Doctor Strange out. And Sausage Party. I will get fucking Sausage Party. I will go see the Sausage Party. Sausage, I will see see Seth Rogen's South Sausage Party in theaters, so I'll get that review out. Anyway, guys, if you do have other movies out there this year that you want me to see, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll possibly go see that film. Alright, guys, I'll see you guys next film. Remember, you're unique, you're very, you are unique in your own way. Don't let anyone else change that. See ya.